what's up guys this is me ron and welcome to the new video tutorial in this video tutorial i'm gonna show you how to create a quiz application in csharp.net using sql server database so before starting to this video tutorial you need to understand the basic concept of the quiz application in general the user submit the answer and then check their answer by triggering some action uh, in the application so in our context how we do this technically so for this uh, our basic uh, concept is we are gonna we are going to uh, create a three table in our database one table uh, is for storing the submitted answer and then another table is for storing the correct answer and then third table is uh, for storing either correct or incorrect value by comparing these two table that is the user submitted answer and then the correct answer table and then uh, display uh, this third table value in uh, message box so let's uh, do this uh, first of all uh, you need to have a visual studio ide if you don't have uh, you can download it from visualstudio.com and then go to file click new and then click on project And then from here select visual c sharp windows and then uh, select the topmost visual sorry uh, windows form application and then give the name over here like i'm going to use quiz click ok now uh, from the toolbox or drag and drop first of all drag on label Here. and in quiz uh, application we are going to write the uh, question here Nick, where is the birth place of buddha here you can increase the size of this font from here like i'm going to use 16 as your end uh, question and then uh, we are going to drag and drop uh, four radio button over here uh, to select the answer for the user the correct answer and then two button one for submitting the answer and then another for the another for checking your answer so click that radio button and you can increase the font size from here first of all let me select all four and click over here font i'm going to use 14 16 there you go font size is included and i'm going to change the value Here text Knepal and here goes India here goes China and here goes Sri Lanka. and this button submit check and you can also change the button name from here like btn submit and then here goes btn check so we complete our designing part and we are going to create the database in our sql server uh, so you need to have a uh, 
Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio. I'm using uh, 2014 version. So open your Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio and then click on right click over here database. Click new database. Quiz application. I'm going to uh, give my database name as quiz application. Click OK. And inside this database, I'm going to uh, create three table. Here goes ID, ID data type should be integer. And then here goes answer bear cat and set the ID as a primary key and scroll down over here and find the identity specification section. Click over here and change the back so that it increases automatically by one and uh, save this table control s uh, and the table name should be and store sorry i'm going to change this one is ens only ens control save answer the create next table id integer here goes QSN. I mean, submitted answer. As a here goes Barker. Control S. Table name is SUB MATTD ANS WER. There you go. But I will forget to do one thing. Uh, set this ID as a primary key in the same process go over here identity specification and this one to s so that the id increases automatically by one control save and again another table here goes id integer here goes value here goes bad cat set id as primary key Control save and the table name is compare. Expand over table. Uh, we are going to insert that insert over here. Uh, click on edit top 20 rows. Here goes the correct answer is Nepal. And just close this. Again, see the answer over here. Oops. There you see that is the answer. So go back to the Visual Studio and then uh, we are going to connect our uh, server. So click on this server explorer, right click over data connection, click add connection. Here uh, uh, change to SQL server, a micro SQL server data source and then server name and then select your database from here uh, quiz application click ok there you go our database is our application is connected to our database now we are going to write the code double click over in this button submit it and we are going to use system dot data dot sql clients Here goes SQL connection. We're going to connect our web program to this <laughs> on database. So 
SQL connection con is equal to new SQL connection that this that is the connection string click over this and then from here property control a control c this is the connection string and then we are going to write the SQL command SQL command cmd is equal to the basic concept is when user click uh, select this button and then uh, uh, click uh, this submit button the user uh, answer should be uh, stored in the database so before writing query we are uh, going to assign the value for these four radio buttons so over here i'm going to declare on variable string submitted answer go back over here double click this button and then here goes submitted answer is equal to nepal Again, same process for here. Submitted answer is equal to India. And here goes submitted answer is equal to what is this? China. And Sri Lanka. Submitted answer is equal to free. Okay, there you go. We uh, assign the value for each radio button, and now we're going to write the query over here. We're going to insert the value in the in this table. Uh, submitted answer table. Right click over here, and then click over here. Uh, script table is we are going to write the insert into query so simply copy this go back to visual studio paste over here please get the red sign so that we can write our query in multiple line uh, placing a uh, before this query uh, prevent the error uh, so that we can write our query in multiple line Here we are going to write our pass our value Our value is Write to single goods inside to single goods to double goods and inside to double goods to plus sign and then we are going to pass the value as submitted Answer. There you go. And we need to connect. And then connection dot open. We need to open our connection. And then command dot execute non query we need to execute our query so that uh, the user submitted value can be inserted in our database connection dot close close the connection and then we should display the message to the user that message box dot so your answer is submitted successfully there you go now run this we are going to submit the uh, user answer and then uh, in next video we are going to compare the submitted answer and the correct answer uh, table value and uh, 
in the third table we are going to insert either correct value or incorrect value by comparing these two table click any one of these four button and then click submit message box to display your answer is sub submitted successfully so uh, that's it in this uh, first part guys i will see in the second part